Well, hello there, and uh, welcome to episode 4 of the uh, Monster Bear server. Alright, so, um, last time I left you finishing off the, um, this farm. Um, I've done all of the essentials, there's water in behind these walls, there's, um, dirt everywhere, which is obviously essential for, um, for growth of your crops. And now we're going to do the redstone bit. Um, I hate how they do this glitch stuff. Um, so, I'm going to have, here's the back of the enchanting room, um, and there's the portal, so, going to have an entry here, but it might be moved later on to somewhere else, but anyway, um, and, so the crops are all going to be growing here, it's a 5 by 6, so that's 30 per level, we've got 5 levels, so that's um, 180, is it? No, that's wrong. Um, anyway, who cares? <laughs> so, to do this automatically, so dispensers, when they have a bucket of water in there, you push them once, and it ejects the bucket or whatever it's in there, and you push it again, and it retracts it. Now, this can be good and it can be quite bad. Um, but similar to dispensers, if you have a, um, if they are being currently powered, oops, that's a bad idea. Um, yeah, same as dispensers, if they're being powered and then they get a redstone update around it, so in this case we'll take the button as the redstone update, um, it actually triggers it twice because the first update is when I push it in. Second update is when it releases because it's turning on, so from off to on, and then from on to off. So it's actually a dual edge trigger. And as you can see, the water comes out, hits all of the blocks of the dirt, of, of, of what will be farming land, and um, that provides that that knocks it all out. So all we have to do is come along um, and just walk down with your with your seeds and just run along, playing them all. So. The way we're going to do this is, um, oops, um, I've already pre-dug out this little back bit, so um, we can power, so this is currently powering this dispenser as you just heard the tick, and if you're listening closely, you can hear it tick twice, so it's got that dual update. Um, and so there's cobblestone here we go um, yeah just some vertical redstone wiring um, and the best thing about this is because we're running on redstone updates it doesn't matter if this one is currently on to this one um, is that no wrong place I think there's water in these already. Yeah. Alright. Uh, is, this, is this bucket? Okay, good. Alright, um, it's kind of awkward when there's already stuff in there. Sorry about that. Um, because you've got to try and reset it, which just it's just annoying. So, as I was saying, because it, it works on the update, um, it doesn't matter whether this is on the on state to, to start off with or in the off state because it's always going to turn on and then off, or off, then on, which is the two states that you need for it to update. So if we just funnel this through here, and, oops, um, yeah, I'll just continue doing this, and that's the wrong block. Near a skeleton somewhere. Pairing this one. Good, it's just the top one that's still got a bucket in it. Alright, that's being paired. Where are we up to here? In fact, uh, just as soon as you start, you have. I can do this twice as efficiently. Um, which is 
always never a bad thing. Right, so, um, we can do this. As I was just telling myself, I taught myself, um, because it's only on updates, we don't have to worry about whether it's going to be inverted or not. So if we just do a one stack tower, that will sort out all of our pro well, all of our, um, everything of what we need. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong one. Alright, so, that's all in there, and that's the wrong block. Very. Alright, and we can come out here, hopefully we got rid of all, oh. fill in behind there. Ah, uh, this is a cave above. Hmm. Um, so, now we can put the water back in. And, um, it should be functioning. Just, uh, need to get a hoe and then, um, add in all of the, um, the plant material. Um, we can... Okay, so, if we can, I'll try and quickly zap up to the next one, so you can see it, so it activates the f second one, you can see there's water, still water, and you can see those drops coming through the floor then. So, it activates all of them, and the water disappears just as quick. Um, and I have neither of those things that I need on me, so, we should get back in here. Oh, and there's a creeper, just before I start this recording. I was getting stuff out of. Oops, oh no, don't. I was getting stuff out of my storage room. And, um. On a side topic, I knew that, uh. If mobs were killed by something else other than you, but you hit them like two seconds beforehand, they gave, still gave XP, but I didn't know that if they killed themselves, they still gave you XP, so that's interesting. But as I was saying, um. I was getting stuff out of this getting stuff out of the um, storage room. Creeper, uh, and this was just after I'd need everything up, I'd put in um, these signs to make it all legible and clear and organised. Creeper came in, blew every sign off this wall and every sign except for this plant, mater uh, plant material sign. And uh, that was a little bit of a kick in the face, but anyway. Um, we want some that I'm sure that will be plenty because we only need 30 per oh no oh that's going to be cutting it quite fine um and we want hmm oh that's the cows there's I swear I had a tool chest somewhere but I think I've just been lying to myself yep alright um was it three, uh, two? I mean, I can join that as well. Don't have any, any sticks on me. Where'd they go? Maybe I did have sticks on me. Oh, they just didn't come with me. Uh, that's the only issue, the only annoying issue that I'm having with, um, lag is if I shift click half the time it won't actually register, transfer, whatever you want to say. I don't know whether because it's a faster action than drag and dropping but um, it just does not want to work. Right. Um, you can see all the water behind there. At least the lag is consistent. Right. Uh, 
and second last one. That's almost two whole iron bar, um, iron ingots wasted on this. Well, not wasted, but used. I mean, watching the track, uh, the um, chat actually. Too busy concentrating on doing all this. All right, um, let's get some of these planting. Um, and I think I might start mining after this because this will be able to grow, and this should be creeper, well, um, mob proof as well in here. Um, the lighting's always, lighting's 12 in all of these rooms and they can't, um, spawn in here, so I hopefully, and they can't climb, um, stairs, so hopefully this should be, um, not liable to being blown up. Actually, something I want to test, this is a two eye room, can you squish crops? And you can't, so I don't think I'll ever need a, um, what's the word I'm looking for, replant this, unless the water does it, which I can't remember. I'll never have to re-sow um, the soil. I hope I won't. That's going to be quite annoying if I do. Alright, so, that's all that planted, excellent, was that was, I oh don't know, just a bit that hasn't been saturated yet, um, and, yeah, I think that's, that's a good wheat farm right there, um, we'll leave this, we should probably get a door, hmm, Hmm, actually coming through the side there might be... Oh no, it's going over water. Um, hmm. I don't know. Oh well. That will do anyway. Alright, um... I shall... F clear out my inventory a little bit. Um, and I'll be back to you shortly after. Oh, I hear you, zombie. Oh, just before I go. This is, I mean, I haven't been actually on lately very much. School's been quite busy. Um, nearing the end of year 12, so that takes priority, of course. Um, well, unfortunately, of course. But, um, this has been growing very well. Even with the fallacy of Sam being the fastest thing. Anyway, it's always good to have have your own ideas. There you are. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Excellent. Alright, so now I will be back with you shortly. Alright, so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I guess since we've got our other farm, we really don't need this one anymore. Um, get rid of all the water. Oh, um, if you noticed in the previous one, you can see this is a billy. Um, when 1.3.1, and then continuing into 1.3.2, um, inside your language setting, no, language settings, there's an Australian English um, language pack, um, which has some quite um, amazing things, uh, quite funny things in it. Um, and some of them are actually quite you'd have to be an Australian to realise the importance of um, what it actually means. So, um, if you are Australian, or if you just want to check it out, oh, because it is quite annoying. Uh, sorry. <laughs> thinking about the water. Um, because it is quite amazing. Um, check it out. Just just go into your lang uh, language packs, where, where I went. Um, it's pre-installed with it. There's no mods or extras. Um, and have a whirl of it. Um, although, because it is a different language pack, if you're working with World Edit, um, World Edit, or um, 
anything along that line which you can type in the name of a thing you actually have to type in the new name so I've got diamond thongs on you'd have to type in diamond thongs instead of diamond boots which is what it normally is um, so that's the only thing you've got to really watch with it um, it's quite um, quite funny um, but also if you if you're the kind of person who uses multiple um, versions of Minecraft um, if you have your language set to Australian English and you try to use anything before 1.2.5 it um, won't work because it's in the config file it's trying to find that language pack but it doesn't so um, your Minecraft will actually always start with an error so an easy fix is to either delete your config um, or if you want to keep all your configurations um, you can just um, select normal English which is um, if you select English you uh, mm, English US that's the, that's the um, standard one so you can just if you just um, select that one and then done you'll be fine to go back um, which is something because oh, I, th I thought I'd messed something up real bad because oh, no way was that starting on me <laughs> So yeah, just a thing to remember and to try out. Oop, that was a bit too far. Um, yeah, it's quite funny. So, I will just um, get the skeleton. Or not. Um, there was another skeleton burning in lava then I heard. Um, which way was it? I see you, jeez, where are these guys spawning? Um, I've had quite a few... Ah, oh, they're coming in from the outside, that's what they're doing. They just... Oh, shit, yep, I was correct. Ah, there's nowhere near you. I'm sorry about swearing just then. <laughs> um... Uh, running my landscape. Oh, that's where they were burning. Daytime. So it wasn't lava. Um, right, what was I going to do after I got interrupted by that? So we are here. So I'll, um, I'm going to em empty my inventory again. Now I've just cleaned up that workbench there. And I might move my bed around. But first, I shall read up these guys. Um, I've actually been offline for quite a while. Um, school was a bit busy and um, a couple of the fellas must have been around here because all of the cows had grown up and there was plenty of wheat growing in my um, in that farm that I just destroyed then. So for all of them, it's like it is. So um, yeah, I've got quite a good supply of um, wheat. There's another. Well, that's there's probably a stack altogether at the moment. I didn't have that before I um before I last logged off. So yeah. Oop. Wow, that was a failed jump. Ah, oh, you didn't fall off. Come here, blighter. Nope. You're just not gonna play the game, and you're gonna hit me off, aren't you? Nope. Good. And that. Okay, so I can't make that jump. Good to know. Oop. <sighs> Damn skeletons. Do you not even drop uh, all of that for nothing? Uh, that's a kick in the face. Right. Um, I'll into my inventory. And I think that is going to be all for today. Um, yeah, I think this one will be slightly under 20 minutes. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um... And I will be getting started on a mine, because I still don't have a mine yet. Um, all of my resources have just been from caving. Um, and, oh, these are the special slabs. Um, yeah, all my resources have been from caving, and although it's quite a good method, it's just, just doesn't cut it when you can mine it at precise levels and actually know your um, percentage of, um, of success rate with diamond iron and 
and um, redstone, I guess. So, I guess I shall um, see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching again. Um, please leave a like, comment, um, and share it with your friends, because the more people that can watch and enjoy this, the uh, I guess the better I feel about doing this, and it's um, I guess it's just a one big cycle, and then you get better content. So, um, yeah, I shall uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.